Erasal Kittens is a fantastic website for coding and for HTML programming. So just type into Google Erase All Kittens and the top result takes you straight to the website. Now it is just a demo version at the moment and the, the full version will be coming out soon. So just scrolling down some reviews and some information. All you have to do is play the demo. Now the demo will take about one lesson. Um, my students played it today and they completed it in one lesson but it was a great start. Um, I'm looking forward to the actual game coming out. So click on new game. Long, long ago, in the times of the ancient internet, and you have this introduction which you can skip. It basically just tells you um, a good story about cats and how they need to be saved. So I'm just going to skip that. You can watch it with the students. My students absolutely loved it. So this is the first level. So you have to move the cat around and then use the space. And I did think at the start, oh it just seems like a funny game, but it does have some coding and programming in a moment. So that's the controls, and you press down on the portal to get through that. So next it asks us to jump, but you can't reach the edge. So this is where the coding comes in. So you go to edit. Pantaloons, he's got it! Now, this stuff up here is the HTML source code of the ledges. It describes the stuff shown on the screen to the right. This code is the ledge you are on, and this code... The tutorials are absolutely right. fantastic. Each ledge starts the P in pointy brackets and ends the slash P in pointy brackets. These are called tags. The writing between the two tags is the content that is shown on the screen. Try changing the words here to make the ledge you are standing on longer. You can write anything you want. A limerick about ledges, perhaps? Smack! I really like the way that the screen split in half as well, so the students really can see um, how playing with the code actually has an effect um, on the actual screen that's shown. So you just have to make it a bit longer. Just type in, I have to get to the other side, that should be long enough. When you're happy with the code, you press save and then have a go at jumping across. My students really like the pictures of the cat and there's some animations as well. Okay, so then it just starts very simple and then it gets a bit trickier. So we've got to go to edit. What ho? That's Shelby the space dragon. He spent years trying to fly in a perfect circle. I'm not sure why, but he sure knows how to waltz. And it and wants us... might need some changes here. These are div tags. In HTML, a div tag is kind of like a box you can put stuff in. The first div is saying, start this box. And the one with the slash is saying, I finished this box. So there's lots of help that it gives them, and also it just makes um, something that might look quite scary, the code, um, really child-friendly. So we've got to add two more boxes so the cat can get to the top. So we need to press enter. And then I taught my students the easiest way is to copy it and paste, and then maybe change the box name, and then copy and paste. Uh, let's put an emoji in. And we've got our three boxes. And then they, we can carry on. And they have got a funny video that the children really liked. So that's basically, um, as far as I go, there's a few more levels, and then there's a survey, and then there's a um, bonus level afterwards. Um, 
which is just great for a, a first um, you know lesson into coding and first lesson into programming HTML really nice and simple down to the kids level um, and yeah they really enjoyed it thank you